Oh. Hey guys. So today, you know, we woke up discovering that Render decided to alt, you know, SMTP for their free instances, which means all the development uh, backend that is hosted with Render will no longer be able to send mails using SMTP, you know, which is the bit to force people to upgrade. So basically, um, so I was thinking, how do I do this? You know, how do I overcome this? So I decided to build a mail server. So, uh, build a mail server using Node.js. Yeah. Uh, and, uh, the front end is written with the React framework. So I built this mail server, which allows people to add the ISMTP connections and it's hosted elsewhere in one of my servers that I had laying down. So basically you come here. So after building this um, server, it was hosted. So currently it's being hosted. You know, I it's it's live currently. This is it's being hosted in Promela, Promela.xyz. So I'll be working more on it, extending it. So but for now, it is basically SMTP mails. You know, then later on, we are going to add more functionality. You'll be able to add your uh, your domain and all those things. So, but currently, you can use your SMTP. This is just for SMTP right now. So, you come here. So, basically, uh, in the free plan, you get about a thousand emails per month and one SMTP connection you know basic analytics and all that so if you want to go pro you get unlimited you know this price is probably going to come down i'm gonna you know to like ten dollars or something because to get unlimited connections fifty thousand meals per month so basically what you do you register for a account once you've registered for an account you can then log in so log in to the website so i'm just gonna walk you guys through the website the web interfaces so that you see how it looks so we have here you know the dashboard which shows an analytics of the mail sent success rate bounce rates field and then you come here to smtp connection you can add the smtp connection per application for each of your application you add the hosts, for example, smtp.zo or Google or whatever you are using. You add a port, you add the username, password, and then the port from address. Most of the time, this will be your username. For some other cases, it can be something else. So you add your default. So, but it must be recognized by your SMTP host. So for some SMTP hosts, it is it must be from it's your username. So you can use all that. Or for others you can use others so it depends on what you're using and then from name which is also optional like the company name and then you either enable the TS or SSL you need to check this with your connection so I'm going to show you how to check this you know when you go to your mail for example let me show you the implementation on the back end so I'm going to click on the mail mail here uh i'm looking for the mail service okay it's not here it's another app let me open the second app which is this i'll show you how i implemented it how it has been so this is a app where we're using the transporter you created create your mailer here using node mailer and axios you need axios to make the api calls so i'm checking here if it is development if development this constant will be true so this is use mail api so this is just the constant also i created to check whether we are using the mail api or we're just using you know smtp direct so that if you are hosted in another environment outside of render you can just use your smtp direct but if you are hosted on render 
you can just switch to you know api mail by activating this setting this to true but this, all these are optional you don't need to implement this in your so what but what you want to focus on is the transporter here is, look how it is done so you have your host here that is what you will input in your host online so this host here is what you have here as your host the port is what you have here you select the port you know the authentication here username is what you have here password is what you have here and then for this you can just use your username just put it there as your default from address so and then this is probably the name of your organization that should appear in the mail yeah but this is optional this is not compulsory so having done this you can then uh so this is a, in case you wanted to send you know with your backend but now that we can use our backend because render you know, has, has deactivated this so there's no need for this again so what we now use instead is our api which we've connected here you know and you see here send mail with api instead so you call the mail server endpoint so once you add the connection let's just go ahead and add the connection you know i'm just i'm not so once you i'm not let me log in with my other account to show you guys that okay so this is my second account here let me log it in so i have the SNTP connection for this here and um so I'm, I'm probably going to you know delete or mask some this id out so that you guys won't be able to you know see it so basically and then what happened is now that this we then call this endpoint so once you have your connection you go to the api key generate the api key here once you've generated the api key you can now call the endpoint you can see the example here passing your api key as the header you know so like we did here pass the api miller key to our from here we added the from which is op optional you can see optional email from which is the email user it's the same as the username that i told you about you know and you just do this so this way you can send via the api instead when on render so when you are hosting on render you know on the free plan you can use this you can use this website so it's totally free for now so and it will remain free there will always be a free plan so why not take advantage of this you know instead of uh going and paying for you know and if you want to upgrade to more than one connection so you can also do that but that with a reasonable price so the the i'm going to reduce the cost there for the for more than one account to maybe ten dollars or so so you guys can just go on and register if you want you know to implement this in your back end while testing to use smcp so that is that about that so the website like i said is promela.xyz you know promela.xyz and that is the website so i'll see you guys if this was helpful you can 
comment and subscribe for more tutorials like this.